Well, hello everybody. Welcome to uh, my channel and uh, welcome a new addition to my collection. This is my brand new Epiphone Jack Cassidy bass uh, gold top that just arrived and I've prepared the box for opening and I'm going to open it for you and I'm going to do a super quick uh, review. Beautiful. <laughs> Check this out. How about that? Amazing. So this one is uh, one of the Chinese made ones. Gold top. Have a look at that beautiful, beautiful colour. Isn't it sparkly? Yes it is. And also, quite important for these uh, ones that are made in China, because they used to be made in um, uh, Korea, I believe before 2012. And they used to make them completely black on the back. This one has actually got a natural finish. It's beautiful, a beautiful instrument. I'm not gonna go through all the technical stuff because you can find all that online. Because I'll go straight to the practical stuff. It says it was inspected. There's an initial here. I expected to have had some sort of a setup. As minimal as it might be. Let's tune it first. So, here we are. Yeah, I need to give it a bit of a setup. First, I will tell you what these knobs do. So, front one is your volume. There we go. Volume, back one is your tone corrector. Yep, pretty much self-explanatory. Now this is interesting here. Right, this knob here has got three positions. So it's got a 50 position, which it's on now, so that pretty much gives you nice clean sound nice clean signal should i say then you've got the 250 position which gives you a slightly more boosted signal a bit more gain and then you've got the 500 position where it gives you a real nice high boost of um, level and it gives you that nice overdriven sort of saturated sound so i will show you the difference between these three sounds and i will do it with the original standard round round uh, bass strings mm, I reckon they're probably uh, just a standard gauge string like 45 to 105 and what I'll do is I'll do this now with these strings then I will change the strings to my preferred type of strings which are Roto Sound flat wound strings 45 to 105 and then I'll show you the difference in sound right so let's start with the first position, 50, so nice clean sound. Now we go to 250, slightly boosted sound. And now we'll go to the highest, the saturated sound. Difference. All right, now I'll change the strings to flat wound strings, my preferred type of strings, and I'll play you the difference and you'll tell me what you think about it. So here we are again. I changed the strings from the original stock strings to uh, my preferred Roto Sound flat wounds, and I gave it a, a nice little setup, <laughs> and it plays like a dream. I gotta tell you, the neck is not the thinnest neck you're gonna find on the market, but it's so comfortable. It's, it's lovely. I mean, and also look at it. It looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, come on, just yeah. <laughs> right, so. Here is what it sounds like with the flat strings and a nice setup. Now this is again in the normal clean position at 50. Now we're gonna go to 250. 
and now we're gonna go to 500 and here's the difference <laughs> This string might, might have gone a bit too low, I'll need to readjust that. That's it. And also this one here. Yeah. Nice. Alright. That's all folks. Uh.